Hello and welcome back audience, my name is Massive Brad and welcome back to my FIFA 15 Monaco career mode and guys I want to say a huge big thank you for all the support, as I have mentioned over the last couple of videos there is a hater out there but I'm not letting them get to me, I am pretty much down to detail now, I know his account username, I'm going to know his address in the next hour or two, I'm going to know his house number, I'm going to phone him up. I'm going to phone him up and just say, hello, is so-and-so there? Yep, yeah, hello, can I speak to you? Why are you hating on my videos? So if you are the hater, be prepared for a phone call. And I'm literally, I'm going to give you an offer over the phone call. I'm going to say, remove all your dislikes, give me a reason, or I'm literally going to annihilate your account. It is entirely up to you. If you want to retain all this and make things right, remove your dislikes. If you don't want to remove them because you dislike the video, give me a reason. But I'm not bothered about him anymore, guys. He's a childish little person. He's going nowhere in life. You guys to support my channel by hitting that like button. Commenting down below. You are the main people and you are all the MVPs. So thank you so much for the support over the last couple of videos. It's doing pretty well, to be honest. The channel's come to a stop. It's not growing anymore. I know a lot of people are shouting me out on Twitter and Snapchat and stuff like that. Fortunately, guys, it's just one of them that sometimes the channel comes to a stop. You know, you can only do well at something for so long and then it'll stop for a bit and then it'll pick up. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks it might pick up again. We're two away from 30 subscribers, which should be pretty awesome, you know. As much as I was thinking, you know, after a month I would have been up maybe 80, 90 subscribers. Sometimes things don't always go to plan, guys, and that's just life. But... Nevertheless, if you do enjoy today's episode, guys, make sure to smash that thumbs up for me. Make sure to drop your comments down below. If you are new around here, click that subscribe button. Share this video with your friends and family. And I just hope you do enjoy today's episode, guys. Now, before I get into the FIFA part of it, I just want to say that I want to thank everyone that did vote. The other day, I done a straw poll of what Xbox One game to buy next. You guys all voted. You smashed it out. And first place was Need for Speed. Now, the latest one I can see is Need for Speed Rivals. I have purchased it. I've now got it. It was the latest one. I literally went in and said, what's the latest Need for Speed? They mentioned the one that's coming out in a couple of months, but I've already pre-ordered that, guys, so don't worry. That'll be on the channel. But Need for Speed Rivals was up there with four votes. And second, which was a bit of a shock, was Titanfall, three votes, followed by Assassin's Creed Unity on three votes, which, to be honest, I thought Need for Speed wasn't going to come top. I really thought either Titanfall or something different was going to come top but obviously you guys want to see a racing game so today is the 28th tuesday and it is in july are we in july yeah we're in july i forgot what month it was then and i'm probably going to record thursday and probably upload it friday or saturday but i've also i've now completely finished i've done it all over the weekend i literally got on a huge grind i edited till about six o'clock in the morning sunday morning Absolutely grinded it out. I did put a picture on Twitter of what was keeping me going. I had Rockstar, Apple, and Monster, Red Bull, all stuff like that. And I'm not sponsored by any of them, guys. This isn't like a shout-out for them to, for me to get paid by them. None of that. I know a few people do think when people shout out companies that they're getting paid for that. I'm not getting paid for that. I'm just a small YouTuber that enjoys making content and loves communicating with you guys. So, I also want to know, if any of you guys are going to i55... If you are, make sure you put it in the comments below because I'm going, and I forgot to mention this to you a couple of weeks ago, I am going to I-55, so if any of you are there, I will be wearing a Peace Out Nation t-shirt. You'll spot me from a mile off. The reason I'm called Massive Brad is because I am massive. I will tower over anyone. You won't even have to see the t-shirt to know it's me. You will just know the walking giraffe that's walking around I-55, around the Rico Arena, will be me. But nevertheless, guys, last episode, I've seen a few comments saying, Brad... Can we get two games going per episode? And I'm going to be honest with you, I looked at how I edit it and stuff like that, and I realised that if I do two games, it's probably going to be 15, 16 minutes long per episode. And I don't really want it that long. I would rather keep it below 13 if possible. So what I've come up with is each episode, so we're going to do it right now. So we're going to go over to the season. We're going to go on to the calendar. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at our two games, and whichever one we think is harder, we're going to play. Whichever one we think is easier, we're going to simulate, so we're going to get through this a lot quicker. So we're currently in October, and the first game we have got on the 25th, which isn't for a while, it's another two weeks and then 17 days it is, we are playing SC Bastia. Now the biggest problem is I would rather play Bastia, but I've just noticed that we be here, Evian, last game, or last episode 2-0, we are playing them in the cup away. So that is the important one, because obviously I want to win the cup, I want to do well in it. So I'm thinking, we're going to simulate the Bastia game, and we're going to play the Evian game, and hopefully we can pick up a win again. Hopefully when we simulate, we can beat Bastia as well, but that's exactly what I'm going to do each episode, guys. Then if you look at the next one, we've got Stade Rians, and then St. Etienne. I think Stade Rians are going to be the easier team, so we'll simulate that and play St. Etienne, followed by... 
Stadia, someone else, I'm not sure who they are, can't really see their logo very well. Why is everyone Stadarians? What is going on? It's everyone. Now, these all must be different names, surely. I must just be getting these wrong. But anyway, yeah, so we're going to simulate that one, play that one, probably simulate that one, and play that one. So that's what I'm going to do each episode now, guys. So you will be getting two games per episode. And as you can see from the table, we're not doing too bad at all. we got Marseille at the top on 26 points, 1-8, drew two, still lost none, which is incredible, until they play us and they get battered 4-0. PSG a second on 10 point or oh, 10 points sorry 23 points 7 wins 2 draws 1 loss we are exactly the same 7 wins 2 draws 1 loss on 23 points goal difference we both have 11 can you believe that goal difference of 11 we are literally spot on with everyone the only difference is, is they've had more goals scored against them but they've scored more goals as well whereas we've scored more and had less we've only had goals against two We've only had two goals put past us this season, which is absolutely fabulous. I'm going to jump over to the central now, advance all the way to the Bastia game. We'll jump straight into that and we'll just simulate it nice and quick. And then we can get on with the cup match today. But as I did say before, guys, if you do enjoy today's episode, make sure to smash that thumbs up. I just want to keep smashing the thumbs up like you guys are doing. Absolutely insane. Every 24 hours now, we're probably hitting... Let's just delete that. I don't want to do that. Reject that. We're probably hitting maybe 20 views and probably 5 or 6 likes every 24 hours. Well, 24 hours after the video has gone up, which is absolutely insane. So thank you so much for that. And here we go. We are at match day. Now, we are away at Bastia. The team's looking pretty decent, but I am going to make a few changes just because I want the best team I can, the best squad to put out against Evian in the cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop Traore and I'm going to play Firmino. Get him in there. I'm going to leave Martial on. I'm going to bring Jose Corre on for Congolo. He's on a yellow card. And I think I'm going to drop Tulalan for where is my main man? Where is he? There he is. Condogbia. So that's how we're going to start it off. And hopefully we can pick up the win. I don't want to change too much. I'm going to leave EKL there and then we're going to bring Kazawa back in next game. But I just want to make sure I've got a decent squad. That's what I do like. We've got a decent bench as well. So when we put a decent squad out and then we've got a decent bench to back us up, which is just fabulous. So let's get on with today's match. Simulate the first match. Let's go. Come on, lads. We've got to beat Bastia. I'm thinking 2-1. That's what my shout out is. Make sure you put in the comments, guys, if you want to have a guess. 2-1. Make sure you do it before the end of the video, though. Hopefully the end of the game. Ramara gets a yellow card after 11 minutes. Nothing up to now. 30 minutes has gone. Mm. Oh, Tallow. Oh, Robert Firmino's picked up a yellow card. And Babadoos has scored for them. 1-0. That's not good. Come on, lads. If we score two back here, I'll be right with 2-1. Come on, we've got to score in the next 10 minutes, though. Please, we can't afford to lose here. No, 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 no. Oh, I don't believe it. That is not good at all. See, this is one of the main reasons I don't want to simulate games because it causes a bit of a problem then, especially when a, a game like that could have probably been an easy win, but we've lost, and that's not good, especially when we're trying to keep up with PSG and, and teams like that. Marseille, I did notice they got a draw, but it still doesn't help. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Paris Saint-Germain also drawed, so that's good. Right, let's skip two days to the cup match against Evian. Then we'll jump over to the office. Let's have a quick look at this. Boss mate, I make a request. Hey boss, I was hoping you might be experimenting with the squad and would give me a chance to play. No. I'm sorry, but no. I'm not risking you. We've got one of the hardest matches in the cup so far. We need to literally smash it out. So the only difference I'm going to... Or only change is EKL. I'm going to bring... Where is he? Because that on. I'm going to bring Congolo back on for... Put him in for Abadonor, I think. And I think they're the only changes I'm going to make, really. I'm quite happy with the team so far, so let's just jump into this. Come on, Cavani, I'm hoping you can score in the cup for us. You, you're missing a goal. You haven't had one in a long, long time. So let's end this rough patch in there. Score a goal. Let's jump into today's game. Can we go through in the cup? Can we get through to the next stage? This is the question. Let's hope so. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Well, we've been talking to the players. Euro Park. Evian FC versus AS Monaco. Um, I think so. you could also we have got to do this. Come on, Cavani. You are the man today. Bag us two. Show them what's what. Let's go. Let's get off to a good start. They've got kickoff. Let's just track them down nice and quick. Try and get this ball. Come on. Let's go. Nice. Well done. Well done, here we go, come on, this is good, this is well played, come on, come in, come in, come in, hold it up, nice, well done, don't panic lads, do not panic, here we go, Firmino, Fabinho, come on, Dyra, good ball in, Cavani, 
Oh, he's nearly scored. Come on, he's nearly scored already. Hansen with a huge save. He nearly pulled it in. Top right corner. That was incredible. He'd done well to jump for that. Floating in. Keeper gets a hand to it. Pushes it over the bar. Come on, lads. Come on, Carrasco. Good ball in. Come on. Come, dog beer. Oh, come on. Here we go. Oh, Kazawa. Well done. Oh, referee. Come on. A little bit of a shoving you're doing that for us. Sure, go on. Come on, Dyra. Mark up. Carrasco, guys, has definitely been an important player for us in the last couple of episodes. He's been absolutely insane. Come on, keeper. Well done. Nice big throwing out. Shame you didn't get that. Come on, Kazawa. Keep on him. Carrasco. Ball's coming in. Get up there, Fabinho. <gasps> Good save, Subasic. What's he... Oh, offside. That'll do me. Thank you very much. No, come on. Please, no. Please, no. <gasps> Good save, Subasic. I don't know how... He managed to get his shot off there. We had three defenders around them. Right, come on, lads. Corner, we've got to get this out. We've got to win it. Marco Fabinho. And we're going to bring the keeper out. I think that might be a good move. Come on, keeper. Good punch. Good punch indeed. Keep it in. This is nice. Come on, Dyra. Let's go. Well done. Play it inside. That's nice. And again, play it again. Fabinho. Firmino. Here we go. Here we go. Go on, play it. Here's Carrasco. Here we go, Robert Firmino, right foot outside the ball. Oh, oh, oh my word! Right foot finesse shot outside the box. I didn't even get to finish my sentence by the time that was in the back of the net. What a rocket! Between the defender's legs, over the keeper in the top right corner. Look at that. That is exactly why all the Liverpool supporters not are saying he is just like Coutinho. His finesse shot, little Brazilian wonder kid. Look at that. Couldn't have put it anymore in the top right corner if I tried. Fabulous goal, well done. It's a good second slide tackle as well. Get up there. Win it. Oh no, too much pressure. Well done, Congolo. 45 minute. We're into stoppage time as well. I don't really want to concede the goal here. Come on, keeper. You might have to come out here. Look at Vars from post. Come on, let's go. Come out. Get it. Well done. Nice throwing out. This is it. Here we go, here we go, come on Jose Corre, I know you haven't got the pace but you, oh look at that, the referee is blown guys, half time and we're on 1-0, fabulous goal from Robert Firmino, I did not expect him to be able to finish like that, I really never, I knew he was a good finisher, but to finesse outside the box and put a top right corner, that is not easy in this game, or easy in real life, it's just not, you've got to have the right amount of power, the right amount of kill and stuff like that, it's just not easy whatsoever, but I'm happy with how the team are playing, I wish Cavani would do a little bit more, but we're going to jump into the second half and try and pick up a second goal pretty early into this second half, I hope, go on, make that run, here we go, nice, here we go, Firmino, back of Yoko on his right foot, oh, straight at the keeper, not a bad attempt, wish he fully understand the ref saying, waving play on there, oh no, 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 good save Subasic, they broke through the middle and they had enough space. Well done, Subasic. Huge save. No wonder we've only had three goals put past us. And one of them was from the goddamn um, simulated match. Get up there, Congolo. Well done. Play it out. Oh, no. No. He's got it in. Come on, Kazawa. Jump. Well done. Come on, Carrasco. We're under a lot of pressure here. Well done, Carrasco. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Hold it up. This is nice. Play it. Yes. Good ball out to Kazawa. Touch it on, Kazawa. That's nice. Cavani, you ready, son? Are you ready? Come on, Cavani, win it! Go on! Oh, nearly got over Hansen. Not a bad header at all, just needs a little bit more lift on it, a bit more height. Right, we're going to make some changes, lads. Cavani has got to come off. I don't know what he's doing. He's not doing anything for us. Let's get Martial on. Also going to bring Tulalan on for Bakayoko. He's kind of tired. And I think the last move I'm going to do is the goal scorer, Robert Firmino, for Traore. I love Traore. He's been absolutely well, no incredible play. for us recently. So it's just going to have for a throw. And fresh legs are coming on. Happy days. They're making a change as well. We've got three changes coming on. Hoping Traore can work his magic in today's episode. He has been the last couple. You have to be running much quicker than that. Come on, Dyer. I'll stay on him. Keep him under pressure. Keep him under pressure in that corner. Here we go. Win that Tula land. Win it. Yes. Martial outside the box. Oh, it's like a deflection. I just thought after the last goal we scored the Tula Lan last episode, I thought I'm going to go for this. Come on, Carrasco, nice ball in. Yes, Tula Lan. Tula Lan. Oh, so close. He didn't even hit the post. It was about an inch away from it. 
Lovely little lifted header though, five minutes to go guys and we're still struggling a little bit here so I'm going to go a bit of tack and just, I just don't like it, I just think it's, if you've got to park the bus in a game, it's just, you're not going to win it are you really? Go on, come on Marty, on the volley, oh what a strike, what a strike indeed that was, come on Condog, you win that, nice, Traore on the left foot, please do not let them get that cross in, no, play it, play it, yes here we go. Go on, Martial, I see you. Let's go, here we go. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Come on. Come on. Yes, well done, Martial. Win it. Hit it. Yes! What a beautiful goal. And I'll tell you what, that could have easily been a penalty if Martial would have went down, but he didn't. He jumped over the challenge. Look at that. Jumped the challenge. Hit the ball on the volley. Rifle finesse. Beautiful goal. Absolutely incredible. Anthony Martial has scored his first goal in the cup. And we're finishing them off. Last nail in the coffin. 2-0. That's what I'm talking about, lads. Absolutely incredible. Made up with that. I really am. Happy days. And there we go, guys. The referee has blown his whistle. We have won 2-0. So we lost our first match that we simulated 1-0 to Bastia. But we have won 2-0 again against Evian. We did play them last episode and beat them 2-0. Two Tulalan with an absolutely incredible volley outside the box. And Robert Firmino with an amazing finesse shot. And Martial with a right foot volley after it bounced up. Cavani's had a few chances. Phil Cavani's having a bit of a rough patch at the moment, guys. But nine shots, seven on target. I cannot say we played bad at all. Defending was a little bit icky here and there. A few places that I thought, oh, this is a bit dodgy. But we absolutely smashed it. And unfortunately, guys, as you can see by the table now, Marseille is slowly creeping away on 27 points, played 11. PSG are on 24 points, played 11, one ahead of us. We are joint with Bordeaux, which is a bit of a problem. I didn't. I, I wish we never lost to Bastia, really. But Bordeaux are now on joint terms of us. We both played 11. Hopefully, we can pick up the win next game. The game that you can see on the screen now, we are going to be simulating. And the following game, we will be playing. So, hopefully, we can start picking up some of these simulated games. But nevertheless, that's all I've got time for today, guys. If you have enjoyed today's episode, smash that thumbs up for me. Drop your comments down below if you are new around here. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. I have been Massive Brad. Peace out.